China's healthcare system is leading the charge in technology-driven care. Virtual critical care not only saves hospitals money, but lives. It provides an extra layer of support for critically ill patients through 24-hour remote monitoring by a specially trained unit of intensivists and nurses. Virtual critical care is available in over 250 ICU beds across 11 system care locations in small and large community and urban hospitals, allowing patients to stay as close to home as possible. Since the program was implemented, it has helped decrease patients' length of stay in the intensive care unit and the hospital mortality rate has been declining. Since virtual critical care's inception and in collaboration with other intensive care unit initiatives targeted at reducing length of stay, the system was able to eliminate a total of 3,200 intensive care unit days for more than 16,800 intensive care unit patients. All of this was accomplished while our patient population continued to be more complex. What we do is to monitor remotely ICU critical care units within the system. What we look for are abnormalities, trends in the patient condition. We have software that integrates with the electronic medical record at the bedside and it pulls it into our software into a series of alerts so that we can respond to many more patients at one time. Most of the coverage that we provide as physicians is done at night because most of the facilities do have coverage during the daytime with bedside providers. Our goal is to continue the plan of care that's put in place by the bedside team. We don't try to change the plan, but we react to data that comes in through the evening and into the night and make changes based on that. We're probably in the moderate size of programs that are out there, but later this year and into next year as we add on another 100 plus beds, we'll be getting into one of the top five or six largest programs in the country within four years of going live, which is not a small feat. So it says a lot to CHS supporting it and being progressive enough to see that you know there's importance and especially that it helps with patient outcomes and patient care. The data doesn't lie. Aside from the cost effectiveness of reducing a patient's hospital stay, another huge benefit of virtual critical care is that by monitoring health data in real time, virtual critical care nurses and intensivists are able to catch issues before symptoms even emerge. Now that's innovation.